Lucy and I are here today in my studio in Hackney Wick and we're here to talk about our project recreation. Recreation started with an invitation from Stefan at BCMG and a loose conversation about bringing sculpture and art and combining that with music. That was a sort of early conversations, but it spiralled into this whole project and each of us have also like brought in other people into the mix and it's just turned into this collective thing. The audience might almost feel like a participant. It's no stage per se and everything is quite immersive. It's different to a normal concert experience. It's not just like an ensemble and an audience. There's sculpture, then a bit of music. It's going to be an unusual product of an exciting collaboration. My name is Haroon Mirza and I'm an artist and I work predominantly with electricity and my work usually manifests in installations and sculptures and immersive spaces. Sound is uh, an inherent part of my practice and a lot of my objects, installations and environments, let's say, have an acoustic element to them or an audio part to them. And that audio usually comes from electrical signals in the most part, but then there's also other types of audio, electromagnetic interference and audio from moving image works, both recorded and live audio, and maybe sounds from natural phenomena such as moving water or other naturally driven devices. Collaboration has always been a really big part of my work uh, and, I, and I feel like the creative process is such an open field and I admire so many different types of practice and so many different artists and obviously everyone has their own unique voice and, and way of doing things and skill set so, it's, it's, so it's, in, it's, it's always fruitful to collaborate and kind of make those connections in a way that something new can come out you know it's a synthesis of, of creativity which which I find interesting. <laughs> I'm Lucy Armstrong, I'm a composer and I love uh, collaborating, working with writers and working with singers. I think my music's quite dramatic and quite visceral and uh, quite unpredictable. Everything in this project is, is quite new and exciting, um, which is great because everything is pulling me out of, of any kind of de uh, default. It's been exciting to look at Haroon's work and work with David on the text and go, go into a territory that's quite different to anything I've done before um, and to just really have fun with the, crea the creative process. Something I really like about Haroon's work and also David's work um, is that there's a real sense of fun and also a sort of sensuality, it's quite physical and so that's really nice to work with as a composer so trying to not only work with the cerebral but also the physical and the intuitive and to just work by really getting lost in a world that's new for everyone. As well as uh, Juliet Fraser who is singing I'm writing for cello which is exciting because a lot of the text and Haroon's work works with waves and vibrations so thinking about vibrations on the string is really nice and also bass clarinet and clarinet. Step Siren is a object made up of like speaker cabinets and some old speakers and uh, a, a stepper motor which sort of spins around which is a sort of uh, automated motor that spins around and it moves this crash around slowly while a, while a metal bar sort of goes in and out of it, creating all these both acoustic and electronic sounds. And this is the sound of an in interference, which is, which is a, a light bulb, an energy saving light bulb, interfering with a transistor, an old transistor radio. It also acts as an instrument. So by touching it, if you're grounded, if you don't have any shoes on, you can create uh, sounds of, uh, of 50 hertz. So the drummer is an autonomous drum machine that plays in sometimes tabla, sometimes bongos, 
uh, but a pair of drums and it's um, it's automated to just do a very simple thing but because of the co chaotic nature of how things are the, the weight is distributed on these on these solenoids that tap the drums and and, and how I guess gravity works uh, the rhythms become very natural sounding. So this is a turntable theremin, I guess an instrument that um, I developed a few years ago. It's a theremin that sits on a turntable and as it spins round, it sort of the, the ground in its own power supply um, does the effect of what a hand would normally do with the theremin. So it creates sort of rhythmic uh, patterns which uh, can be composed with. It's been quite interesting, hasn't it? Like uh, talking about, even in different languages, uh, certainly conversations I've had with yourself and Juliet, um, where I, when I'm talking in frequencies and you're talking in notes mm. and you know, just those kind of differences and then so somehow we meet in the middle and we, we, we both know what we're talking about. So it all kind of makes sense and it's, uh, but, it's, uh, but it's a learning experience and something new keeps on emerging somehow. Yeah, and I think that's that's nice that yeah you have a different language with music, which brings a new perspective to my own, um, which is exciting, and it it's also provoking me to work in different way to usual. Usually, I might sit down with my manuscripts and paper, but actually with this um, and improvising with the bowls, the ceruti box, um, what I'm finding is because it's 111 hertz and 444, which is sharp of an A, actually my usual defaults aren't, aren't that useful to me, um, which means that I'm working a lot more uh, physically, a lot more practically. Um, and so, so far, actually, I haven't been working on paper or Sibelius, which is the notation mm. stuff that I, I usually work with. I've been working entirely um, with audio so far. So oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so I've been sketching on logic, sketching by singing, mm. um, and actually when I come to write it down, I'm, it's you know I'm, I'm delaying that because it's all slightly different. Yeah, and I'm also just really thinking of these sculpt, you know, that were objects that were made as sculptures as instruments. You know, mm. not thinking about them as instruments, but also as set. You know, which is kind of a very different thing to um, presenting them in a gallery space, for instance. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's it provides like a strong atmosphere. When I imagine space, I can imagine like all of the sculptures and Juliet Fraser there, and so I can already feel the atmosphere and how that interacts with David's text, mm. which actually gives quite a clear world as well uh, for me to start with to to add add music to.